Corey here from Penny's Hot Rods and Custom. Somewhere I can it for now. I'm not even gonna try. Hold me away, Chuck. What do you do Saturday, 6 a.m., and you can't sleep? Go to work. So that's my plan today. Super excited. My stickers arrived. I didn't think they were going to come back until I uh, got back on holidays. But yeah, I got an email. They're here, so I've got them. Perfect. Um, before I start this video, I just want to thank, thank Kenny. Very talented, talented fabricator. He actually just lives like five, six houses down the street. Uh, he built me an overflow catch can for my coolant. So thank you very much, Kenny. And we're going to mount that today. Um, Boog uh, sandblasted and did my uh, headlight buckets and hood hinges, so I'm going to work on that a little bit today. My main goal today is just to do a bit of work on this thing and push it outside to see what it actually looks like. That's, you know, I haven't seen it all blue and whatnot, except for the hood. I, I'm not going to lie to people, I haven't touched it. We uh, had like five, six inches of snow here and it's minus 30 billion de like degrees out. It's, it's a pretty shitty week. So I had spent most of the, uh, this week in moving snow at work, so. But before I show you the stickers, my Christmas present came in. You have no idea. So, with further ado, check these bad mama jammas out. Munn's root beer, black and orange. Whether you get it or you don't, it's, uh, watch the movie Hot Rod. So, we're going to be wearing the bejeebies out of those shirts. Somebody doesn't like the orange shirt, but I do. And, yeah, this also came to Boss Fink. Uh, Rat Fink model kit. I actually had the original one years ago. And I sold it for good reasons. <clears throat> Got actually good money for it. Bought the intake for my uh, coupe and all the carbs and the linkages and all that stuff. Rebuilt kits. So I didn't want to sell it, but I got good money for the model kit. And, you know, it went towards my coupe. So, but anyway, here, I'll show you the stickers. What are you doing? Why are you being so quiet? Hmm. So here's my stickers. Don't mind the mess. Uh, high performance and speed and custom. So those are going to go on the fenders. Same thing with haze. <clears throat> Pretty stoked about that. I checked my invoice from for whatever reason. I got three, but I only paid for two. <clears throat> so I don't know what we're going to do with the other ones. What do you say? Eh? What do you say? Why are you being so quiet? Eh? Yeah. So I think, oh, that's what I was going to show you. One more thing, guys. I was going to show you. When I was looking through uh, some magazines to take to the airport tomorrow, I found this old picture of my coupe way back in the day. I don't know how well it's going to pick it up, but that's me in the black. Many, 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 many years ago. And that's when I went to get safety. So, yeah. So, I'm surprised when I actually found that picture. So, yeah. So, anyway, enough rambling. Let's get to work. I got some stuff to do. So, <clears throat> let's do it. Hey, Glenn, check that bad man jam out. Thank you. Okay guys, back in the garage. Finally, it's beautiful in here. It's super nice, super cold outside, but it's nice in here. All right, so here's my hood hinges that Ryan sandblasted. Uh, that one doesn't really want to move that well. This one moves pretty good, but all I'll do, I'll put some uh, white lithium grease in here and heat it up with the torch before I paint all that stuff, just to get them working freely and nice and smooth and whatnot. Here's my headlight buckets. That's the good one. This is the bad one. I knew this one had a lot of issues in it. So all I'm gonna do is just make some Real rough piece of the steel, tack weld it over, and then smear it. You'll never see it good enough. But yeah, turn out really good on inside. So those will just get flagged black or flogged black. And here's the overflow can that uh, Kenny made for me. Couldn't be happier. Super nice of him. Even made mounting tabs here. So that's going to be perfect. So where I'm thinking of mounting this guy is going to be, if I can do this, there we go. It's going to get mounted somewhere in here. Somewhere, whatever, but somewhere in there. So really happy. It's nice of him that he did it. Even a little brass little plug. Like I said, uh, Kenny's a hell of a fabricator. You see the stuff he does, frames and everything. Like it's his stuff is pretty fancy. For the guys that know him around here, they know he does really nice work. He's he's pretty good. Anyway, so I've done that fender with the stickers. I'm not going to show you yet, but uh, we'll do this side right now. Right now, I'll set it up. I did wipe everything down, tacked it all up, and all that stuff. So we will uh, set it up and do it. Uh, there's even a sticker I totally forgot that uh, I was going to put on here, but Casey grabbed it yeah, last year back to the 50s. So forgot all about it, so it worked perfectly. So anyway, I guess I'll set it up and uh, we'll lay down some stickers. I don't know exactly the proper way of doing this, so it's stickers. You can't really screw it up, but I could probably find a way. So 
All right, let's set it up and let's lay some stickers and then we'll uh, do the headlights. And like I said, these fenders will be coming off later on because I've still got a bunch of other stuff to do, but I'll put them away somewhere safe. Somebody doesn't know, but they'll probably go in the house. <laughs> anyway, let's set up. Let's set it up and put some stickers on. Man, that looks good. Okay, guys, like I said before, I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. So, uh, I made my kind of my template of eight inches from the fender. It's where that is. So, roughly right here. I'll just kind of laying it off. I'm just kind of going just above this body line here. So, I think that's where we'll go. All right. Like I said, if worst comes to worst, if I do screw this up, I have another one. Basically, at our eight inches there. All right, so we got that set. You know, it's serious when the glasses come off. All right, and I just always use a putty scraper. I guess maybe I should have went the other way for visual effect. So, I guess we'll do the next one. Yeah. I'm digging that high performance. I said, I don't really know how long all these stickers will last and whatnot, but I like the car's gonna be outside. It's always gonna be inside, so. All right, we'll set up the other ones and uh, See how well that turns out. I'm digging that. Okay, guys, I kind of got my other one mapped out, and it's gonna go. We're gonna kind of stagger it. Same thing. I'm gonna use my belt line as a kind of a reference, and I kind of marked it out roughly where it's gonna go right there, judging by my putty. Same thing. And we'll call that good.
Like I said, nothing's permanent, or these fenders, I'm going to, like I said, take them off because I'm going to uh, rewrite my brake lines, uh, finish up some of my steering, a bunch of little, little odds and ends kind of deal. And like I said, I've got to actually, this fender's not bad, I just got to make, finish making a bracket that's going to bring this in a little bit, and these kind of, kind of got to go down. So there's going to be a lot of monkeying around, but uh, these fenders will be coming off shortly. And then uh, we'll line everything up properly. Try it this way. Perfect. Speed and custom. I hate to say it, it's too warm in here. Oh, I should actually have a short sleeve shirt on. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. This guy here yeah, is kind of in the middle-ish. I don't think it makes a huge difference. Probably the part of the movie. You know, she had fingertips, her fingernails. There we go. Not the other side, I just kind of snowballed it. <clears throat> and then I, where did I put that other Ah, oh, here it is. I didn't think about putting these on, but Casey went all the work to grab these for me uh, from a vendor last year and it was really nice of him, so we'll put them on, Craggers. Just because he went all that work and he was so proud, he got me stickers, so. And then we'll put this on here and that'll be it. Actually, we'll see how we get the other one, so I kind of know. About an inch and a half or two inches prior to right here. go that's all it's gonna get for stickers so I hope the camera picks it all up but yeah I'm digging that it's pretty cool all right let's uh mix it or make up uh, our headlight boxes and try to figure that out and we'll uh, buff the headlight rings all right I uh, just temporarily mounted my headlight buckets making sure they actually fit this thing and they do um, I was gonna mount uh, headlights and just see what it looked like but uh i only got one ring here the other one's at uh, ryan's work there so he said he'll get it for me next week i said i'm no rush uh, what i will do is i'm going to start polishing up uh these rings and whatnot just to kind of see what they look like make sure they're all you know good shape and everything else and make sure everything fits but yeah that's looking pretty cool eh like i said guys this video isn't very much like i said if i had more time because i gotta do a bunch of packing and all that crap coming up soon but i would have really liked to start working on those hood but i think that'll be the next video or whenever eh? but man does this look pretty cool you gotta admit eh so uh like i said i meant this week but it's just time got away i was gonna order a drive shaft but i'll do that next week unless ryan comes back at a decent time then we'll measure it up and then i can get him to do that next week while i'm gone but i'll talk to him here shortly but i'm just going to clean this turd up for a bit and uh then we'll uh, kick it outside like i said it's not going to be a very exciting video or very long anyway because like i said i got a bunch of shit i got to do today and whatnot which i still got to do but uh yeah it's looking pretty cool man all right There, I'm almost done polishing. I wasn't going to show a lot of it, but uh, like I said, I did the path or the driver's side. It's It had some pretty good pits, but uh, it, it'll do for now. This one's all right. It's got some ugly little scuffs that can come off. I'm pretty sure I'll buff them out here. And I've already started doing a little bit of this anyway. Uh, like I said, I, there's three different ones. I just always use the red one. I've had the best luck with that. Like I said, I'm no means of professional. So. Like I said, this is not a toy. It may look neat, but they can grab your parts and uh, 
fling them. It has happened to me in the past. So, like I said, I already put applied a bit of, uh, actually now a little bit more. There's a few spots in here I wasn't happy with. You can heat your metal up here pretty fast too if you're not watching what you're doing. So always pay attention. not perfect by any means but hey I'm happy with it uh, Jim was nice enough again when I bought a bunch of parts he hooked me up so this one's actually not bad shape if I spend a little bit more time it'll clean up pretty darn good there was a good little crease and I took that out you don't even really see it if you really had to pay attention you might see it but it's the spot And uh, I do have other products. Uh, if you don't have this, you can always use like a never doll. I like that. You rub it in, it's a rubbing compound. I'll probably end up doing that afterwards, later on, when I actually put these on per uh, permanently. It's a good cream. It's not cheap, but it's a good product. So anyway, we'll stick this on then, I guess. Next time you see this turd, it's gonna be clean. I'm gonna clean up the shop here, and blow it off, and uh, we'll keep this turd outside. And I'll explain when it's outside why I'm doing what I'm doing. Well, she's outside. Don't remind the front fender. It's not gapped or anything. It's just bolted on there, so. But man, look at that bad boy. Not gonna lie, it's freaking cold out here. All right, it's freaking cold. I'm going inside, go sweep up. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have to adjust all the fenders and all that stuff. Like I said, I just bolted them on loose right now. But yeah, pretty darn cool. It's not perfect by any means, but I'm happy. Let's go inside. Well, it's back in the garage all warmed up. Uh, like I said, guys, apologize. Really wasn't much of a video, but I just wanted to have something while I was, uh, while I'm gone. So that way those, uh, two guys, Derek and Chris can put this up next week and even Casey too. That's right. Maybe. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to, uh, probably start making a list of actual things that I got to do. Like I said, I'm going to get the drive shaft done and all that stuff, finish up the wiring, do the brakes and all that. And then yeah, shouldn't be much longer. So the next time it actually goes outside, hopefully it's under its own power. That'll be pretty cool. So like I said, I gotta wanna come back, tackle the hood and the grill and all that stuff. So anyway, enough rambling anyway. Hope you guys like this little video. I think it looks pretty cool outside. Um, the reason why I did take it outside, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, cause it was like freaking cold and I wanted to get in and out fast. Uh, I'm gonna be, hopefully I took pictures of it already and I already got pictures made of it. Uh, I'm gonna be putting it in World of the Wheels. Hopefully that's the plan, so. That's my plan. So that way it really gets me motivated to get my ass in gear and keep going on this thing. So I think that's the best idea. So anyway, as always, guys, leave a message, good or bad. And uh, what do you think of the old turd? Um, yeah, it is what it is. But anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'll see you in, in a little over a week. So adios. Have a good one, guys. Man, does that look good? Pretty cool. All right. Adios, guys.